Hi, Tapas Fleming here, tatlife.com. TAT is really soul retrieval done in a super fast, super simple way. So what is soul retrieval for anyway? It means some part or parts of you have become stuck in some past event or events and they can't find their way to your here and now. They're just stuck living usually in some kind of um, personal hell where they're being abused, they're alone, they can't get out of it, or just something terrible has happened. So a really simple way of looking at what's happening with TAT is that we're just giving information to those parts. Hey, yo, it's over. You survived. I'm here. And you can come join me in the here and now. That's the short of it. And what's really cool about TAT, from my experience for many years, is that, well, it works. There's something about the TAT pose that allows the information that we're thinking and that we're communicating to parts of us to actually instantly land. And everything in our whole being gets updated, including the, the part or parts of us that have been stuck in other times and places. They just uh, join us in the here and now and contribute their experience and their views to what we're experiencing in our life right now. And they get to share in the happinesses that we experience in the here and now too. They're not isolated anymore. Another way to think about the whole, what we're doing in healing with TAT is that parts of ourselves get to feeling isolated. So if you have any part of you inside that feels isolated, that's a really good clue. You can use the whole TAT process to connect with that part or parts of yourself. Deliver all the new information that just is the whole TAT process and then experience this uh, integration so having part of yourself not stuck in some past means you're not hearing all the negative things that that part of you has been saying all this time, like typically stuff like, you're not enough. You don't deserve happiness. You'll never have what you want. No one will ever see you for who you are. It's just, it's because that part of ourself or parts have been stuck in that moment where whatever bad thing was, was happening. And that's what that part did feel. But one, plus all the emotions that go with it, sad, lonely, angry, frustrated, fearful. So all of that stuff changes because those parts of us aren't stuck in those other times and places. They just get to be in the here and now and go, oh, Everything's actually okay this very moment. So I hope that helps you out. And thanks for listening. See you next time.